at Dental Arts in St. Pete Beach, and I'm so excited and happily talking with Dr. Cecilia Sorrell. Dr. Sorrell, how are you today? I'm doing well. I'm yeah. excited that you invited me to talk about dental. It's not everyone's favorite topic, so. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's what I like. You know, whether it's social media and you want to have the appearance or whether you want to have the health, people want to be, you know, picture perfect in a way. Yeah. So when I saw the title, Dental Arts, I was already hooked. Explain why you wanted to go dental arts with your practice. Well, I think there is an art to dentistry. It's not just the physical form of walking out with a beautiful smile and a confident smile. It's also the art of making people feel comfortable, having that intimate setting again, um, bringing that intimacy back to healthcare, where you can feel comfortable and heard in a positive environment, um, and not just like a number. I love that. And you know what? It's usually when people have a passion and you can tell that Dr. Sorrell does. Thank you. It comes from like their background a little bit. So I'm curious. Tell us a little bit from your background as we get to know you. Well, um, I was a college student trying to find myself and I knew that I wanted to be a mother at some point. I knew that I wanted to be in healthcare where I had a skill set to give back. Um, and I knew that I wanted the autonomy to own my own business and make my own decisions and um, really help people. Um, with that being said, I, I looked at all sorts of different um, healthcare options and dentistry was the one that I felt allowed me to do all of those things. And um, so I went into dental school and I really, really, really loved doing community service mm -hmm. and events like that, which then led me into the military to serve um, our men and women in uniform. And then from there, um, I went in to establish my own practice with my husband. And um, we wanted to create something where people loved going to work and it showed to patients and then where patients loved going to get care. So. I, you know, you love hearing that because you've, as you touched on at the beginning, you know, dental is one of those things that some people love talking about. Some people <laughs> may be a little intimidated to talk about. But when it does come down to your business, what was it about your military background that helped you build your business and, and know the direction you wanted to go with it? Um, I think it's a loaded question. I think that there is life lessons in everything that we do. You take the good and you expand it. You take the bad and then try to create something great out of it. Um, I really uh, think that with the military, one, it strengthened my love to serve. Um, so I do uh, community outreach and um, I do community service projects. Uh, and then it also, I believe in strength in numbers and I really uh, enjoyed the camaraderie. So that's when I started to want to build and partner with other dentists that have a like-minded approach and philosophy. So I started partnering uh, with local dentists to have a larger touch on our community and to be able to serve our community in a larger number base. Uh, speaking of community, Dr. Sorrell, you're doing big things for the community. Talk about what you're doing with CASA. We've had him on the show. Explain that organization and how you're trying to help them. Well, as a woman um, and as someone that uh, loves service and giving back, I do believe that we always need to take care of each other mm -hmm. and there's a ripple effect in that and even small things that you can do can create a large impact um, we just have donated 25,000 in service um, uh, excuse me, dental service to the women and children of Casa House. And what I wanted to do is allow these women and children to know that they still have a support group mm -hmm. and um, that there are still people that are there to support them and um, care about them. And if I can do something small for somebody, um, I would like to do that. Oh, and we know support is so happy in those situations and how they're able to help. Um, speaking of support, she teased a little bit her husband who works with her. Yes. Let's go ahead, bring in <laughs> Andrew Crouch here. Andrew handles the business side of things. They keep it very family oriented here at Dental Arts. And Andrew, I want to go ahead and get your thoughts on one thing. You know, overall, from a business standpoint, how is Dental Arts different from the other dental practices we may see here in the Bay Area? Yeah, so one of the things that we really wanted to create with Dental Arts is, is that personal touch a bit smaller where you actually get to uh, know the people, uh, know them on a first name basis and, and really become part of the family. Um, so there's a lot of practices that are uh, looking to grow into these, you know, larger facilities. Uh, we, you know, by decision have made a decision to, to keep our practices small, to keep our staff small in each office. So we do get that really uh, family feel and it means that, you know, we don't have you know, the goal to see thousands of patients a day, we, you know, we set our schedule so that we do have time for every patient, that we have time to, to talk and get to know them. 
Um, and and I think that's something different where you know other practices may be you know pushing a, a large volume of patients through that and, and that's really how we're setting ourselves apart. Well, you know, we are just scratching the surface here with Dental Arts in St. Pete Beach. So let's go ahead. We will actually come back out, talk with you a bit more. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your time. And as always, you can just go to our website for even more information.